Welcome back to Dry Hollow Homestead. My name is Danielle and today I have a different kind of video for you. This is going to help you if you're um, looking for some resources on doing your own milk cow or um, making your own cheese. I kind of feel like they go hand in hand because most people that are going to be researching my cheese making videos are also probably owners of a family cow. So you might have some of these resources you might not. So let me give you some of my recommendations. Uh, this was probably my absolute favorite book. And if you own a milk cow, you need this. This has so many good advice, just good, wholesome advice and recipes in here, traditional recipes on what you can do with your, with your milk. Um, also, um, like first aid, a lot of, uh, things, just knowledge that you need to have just to be a good steward of your animal this was a, a huge re i've read it cover to cover probably several times i have bookmarks in special places and i will with any question go straight back to this book um definitely keeping a family milk cow if you want to screenshot it this is a big one this is my number one recommendation for owning a cow um another one was the family cow this is a an older book and i think um, the Keeping a Family Cow mentions and references this book uh, also, but it has great value in it too. <laughs> um, with lots of different, uh, maybe not a single family cow, but with several family cows or just more of more unique advice in this one. But this is older. I don't think um, it its information is outdated though. I would definitely go with keeping a family milk cow first and then this and you can obviously see I did not get these new so I'll link in the description box some of these but check um eBay check eBay or just keep your eye um out keep your eyes open when you're at like Goodwill or um any kind of used bookstores a book does not get less valuable as you read it or as it's been read definitely not so those are my favorite for owning a cow and just being a good steward. This is a great one too. I would say this one is a little less than those. This is a simple read um, and it's got some homemade dairy um, in it. And it's more beautiful, I think, to look at because these don't even have pictures in them. But um, this is a great resource too, if you were to see that and you're interested, I would definitely pick that up. There are some good dairy recipes in here. And between all of these is where I've come up with my recipes. I don't stick to any certain recipe, but I do go by instructions for a lot of my cheats. So this is my number three. So I have three milk cow uh, books and then I have my top three cheese making books. But they also have in the milk cow books, they also have some dairy recipes in there too because you're gonna need to do something with all that milk. <laughs> okay, so those were the first three for my top three for family cow, dairy cow. You need this book in your life if you make cheese, interested in making cheese, just making cheese from store-bought milk. This book has every recipe for any type of cheese I have ever, ever even thought of. Um, and I bought this absolute, actually, actually new off Amazon. Um, I have gotten stains on it. It is marked many, many times over with different recipes that I've made. Every one of them has been good. I don't, like I said, I, I kind of change it because I'm using raw milk. Um, this is more for store, store bought milk and I don't, I upscale it <laughs> to fit what I want to do, but the instructions, I go by almost completely the, this book. This has been the best resource I have ever bought for cheese making. And yeah, I recommend this, number one recommendation for sure. And I haven't even like, I love making hard wheels of cheese. I haven't even started with like the mold ripened cheese, blue cheeses. Oh, eventually we'll get there but as of now i'm you know a mother of five i homeschool i babysit my nephews and some cousin kids and friends kids so i'm really busy so streamlining things and making sure that there are things that my family will eat 
is number one priority. So that was my first. Number one was the 20 easy homemade cheese recipes. Number two is this one, this homemade cheese making. This has some simple recipes in here too. This is where I get my farmhouse cheddar instructions is out of this book. And I enjoy how simple this book is. Um, so they have their pros and cons. If you were to buy one, get that one first, the 200 easy ones. And then this, this is good. But like I said, check your, check eBay. I probably bought this one on eBay. And then another one is the farmer's kitchen, which is not strictly cheese making book. Um, it actually goes through the seasons um, and they line up pretty decently with us here in Virginia. Uh, a cooking from what is seasonal. And for this, I think that she um, writes mostly that you have fresh milk like as a farmer you would have fresh milk in May so she begins going through um, using ways to use up milk this is this is a great resource for anyone just trying to use up seasonally what what will be coming out of the garden or what you can get at a farmers market and last but not least for sure not least is get yourself your own no notebook make your own recipe book um, as you are trying recipes and tinkering with things that that just taste amazing to you what didn't work that time make your own write down your own recipes this is dear near and dear to my heart because these are the the recipes i actually have been bringing to you um, but they are what my family have thinks is good and <laughs> works well for them so i hope i didn't bore you too much um, I hope you find this to be helpful if you are looking for resources. Subscribe if you're here for the whole, the whole <laughs> milk cow, um, family milk cow situation and the cheese making or the homesteading or just family life in general. I pray that you have a blessed day. See ya.